All right, there's this little community just north of Florence called Hasita Beach. This is an outrageously popular area. In this video, we're gonna check it out. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from Florence, Oregon today. And in this video, we're going to check out Hasita Beach. So this is an unincorporated community actually just outside of city limits, but really connected to Florence, a continuation north of you know, of Florence and of town on the west side of the highway. So Hasita Beach, there is a beach here. This is really your only true beachfront community and development in Florence. The Sayusla River winds north before it goes out to the ocean. Uh, so you have the river and this dune that really kind of separate most of town from the ocean and from the beach itself. But in Hasita Beach, you, again, you get north of town and you have that beach access down Hasita Beach Road. Now you can access this area from Rhododendron, which is a beautiful corridor uh, in town as well, really going from in town, uh, Old Town Florence, going north up along the Sayuslaw River. There's a lot of gated communities and HOA uh, developments throughout this stretch. Uh, the golf course, the hospital is there. Ultimately, you get up into Hasita Beach going that way as well. The first place we're going to check out in Hasita Beach is Hasita South, this big HOA development, this big HOA community here in Hasita Beach. And this is a really, really popular community. A ton of people who are interested in Florence really gravitate toward this community. Now, Florence has a lot of HOA communities, a lot of communities that really feel like 55 plus communities by and large. Uh, some are even gated. Hasita South uh, is a little bit more open. Uh, I think one of the biggest things that stands out in this community in particular is that the lots are a lot bigger, like the one I'm standing on right now, which is actually an active listing, uh, a lot that we have for sale. So if this is an area that's interesting to you and you know maybe you wanna come into this area and build, definitely give us a call. And it, you know if you wanna talk about Hasita Beach, different neighborhoods around this area, Florence in general, or just moving to the Oregon coast, we've helped so many people relocate to here. Give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. Let's go check out some more houses. So for most of the community of Hasita Beach, it's not gonna be super easy to walk to the beach itself, but a very quick drive, probably inside of five minutes, uh, wherever you are in Hasita Beach. So whether you're in that Hasita South uh, HOA community, or you're, if you're in like Fawn Ridge, or uh, some of the other nicer, you know, gated communities in the area, uh, again, I mean, really just a stone's throw, a quick drive. Uh, one of the hardest things is uh, Hasita Beach Road or even Rhododendron, there's really like no shoulder, so it's tough to walk. It's not like the distance is a huge factor um, walking wise, it's more so, you know, it's it might not be super comfortable, but hop on a bike, get down here, no problem. And, you know, as, as nice of a beach as you can get uh, on all of the Oregon coast, you have the Driftwood Shores uh, Resort right here. You have some houses and you know some beachfront. You can see some oceanfront homes down here, kind of few and far between really. Um, again, I mean, Florence overall is really not set right on the beach and on the ocean. This is really the only area. I would say one thing is for sure, Florence is a big tourist destination. So especially in the warmer months, you're gonna get a lot of people staying in the community, visiting the beach. The beach is gonna be a lot busier. I don't know if this is necessarily the busiest beach though, just for day use. Uh, a lot of communities or a lot of beaches rather on the Oregon coast, um, especially you know within like 90 minutes from Portland can get pretty slammed. 
uh, during the summer, like from Memorial Day to Labor Day. Obviously, a lot of people are coming out here from Eugene. A lot of people like living in Florence, whether it's this Hacida Beach area or any of the other great communities in Florence, because Eugene is so close. And, you know, Eugene's a pretty big town, a couple hundred thousand people, has a lot of services, shopping, medical, things that you would you know, maybe need either uh, periodically or, you know, depending on how things change, uh, you know, things that you might need to get access to relatively quick in Eugene, but people in Eugene are coming out to Florence for sure. So again, uh, Hasita Beach is unincorporated. Now I know there's sections that have been annexed and I know that's an ongoing thing. A lot of people ask about the property taxes when you're in an incorporated community versus unincorporated. There's not really gonna be an enormous difference as far as the property taxes go. You know, zoning, uh, you know, building permits, uh, things like that, uh, you know, obviously an added layer of red tape you know when you bring in an additional jurisdiction and kind of being a part of the city versus just the county which counties are a tip are typically a little more hands-off um, you know i know there's pushback for sure from people in Hasita beach who live here uh, in terms of the annexation most of the area is still unincorporated but again i think it's really just going to be for more some of the like administrative stuff or you know hoops that you might have to jump through red tape as far as adding an ADU, for example, or making sure that people aren't, you know, putting in a bunch of ADUs and doing a lot of infill because this area, aside from, you know, right down here where you have like a, a you know, true kind of beachfront development, a lot of these HOA communities in particular, um, but a lot of these, uh, you know, a lot of the development, a lot of the houses down here are pretty spread out, very private. That is a kind of a hallmark uh, attribute of Hasita Beach, so much privacy. So maybe with annexation, you know, I think, you know, there's probably fear that some of that goes away, but Hasita Beach is on its own water district. Otherwise, you know, you're just looking at kind of the standard utilities as far as, you know, uh, internet and electricity. A lot of these homes are on septic. I'm not sure how much public sewer is up here, but you see a ton of properties that are on a septic system here. So, you know, maybe a change from what you're coming from, but, you know, not necessarily something that is going to affect day to day in terms of maintenance or anything like that. You get it pumped like, you know, once every couple years, whatever it may be, you get it routine maintenance and everything's going to be fine. There's about a couple thousand people that live in Hasita Beach. So if you look at Florence overall, you're looking at 10,000 plus people. So you know, 20% approximately of the population of Florence is actually up here in Hasita Beach. So this is an area that, you know, it's not super dense. And again, you know, the, a lot of the homes are really spread out. You have a lot of great privacy living up here. Uh, and, and it's only about three square miles, but there's a couple thousand people who live up here. So, you know, it, again, it's really a continuation of Florence, a neighborhood, a bedroom community of Florence, really more part of Florence than not. But distinctly different in that yes it's unincorporated but again you're here right at the beach whereas you know most of Florence you are not now you're still you know maybe a 10 minute drive into Old Town so you can get into downtown Florence very quickly you can get up to the highway very quickly very easily where you know you got Fred Meyer grocery stores and shopping and your mechanics and you know, things that you would need more day to day. Uh, so a lot of what's in town is still very, very accessible. Although, you know, you're notably kind of removed and private up in this area relative to being in town, which is a little bit denser. And like I mentioned, this corridor of rhododendron, uh, which runs on the west side of the highway, uh, is where you have uh, like the Florence Golf Club, for example, and you have the hospital. So if you're in Hasita Beach, you can get to the hospital in under 10 minutes, no problem. So in terms of access to medical care in town, great access there. So you're on the north side of town here. So if you wanna get to the next town north, you gotta go all the way up over Hasita Head uh, and Cape Perpetua. So if you can see off in the distance here, that is a pretty tough, windy drive. Uh, you would get up into Yahats. It's only about maybe 40, 45 minutes from where you are here in Hasita Beach, but definitely, uh, I would say, in my opinion, the toughest stretch in terms of a drive on all of the Oregon coast, just because you're up and down and it's so windy and, you know, you, you can only really go, you know, on average about 40, 45 miles an hour and you're taking some really tight turns. So Yahats is a really great little community. 
Um, again, it's a little bit of a tough drive, but still pretty accessible. Still north, you can get then into Waldport, then into Newport in uh, probably just a little bit over an hour uh, from here in Florence. So, you know, relatively easy to get to some, some other towns, you know, get a little bit of variety. And then south of here, you get into Dune City, which is another unincorporated community on Wohink Lake and Silk Coos Lake, really popular areas. Still Florence address. Uh, so some similarity there with the Cedar Beach in terms of you know the type of community a little more rural down there then you get down into Reedsport then you get down into Coos Bay which is about an hour south of here so Coos Bay North Bend another popular area a more populated area so you got restaurants and things to do there so if you want to get out explore other communities just about an hour south you have the most populated community on the Oregon coast in North Bend and Coos Bay so you have that to the south again Yahats, Waldport and Florence to the north but then Florence really sits here really pretty isolated uh, again you're close to Eugene but again you have to go about 40 minutes north or 40 minutes south to get to the next community whether that be you know a big town or a small town so median sale price is about six hundred and fifteen thousand dollars in Hasita Beach right now there's a really big range so you got nicer newer construction again you have these luxury upscale HOA communities and developments you have kind of more middle of the road or modest HOA communities as well and then you have especially really close into the beach about five blocks back um, along like first second third fourth street uh, it's you know really dense uh, kind of residential development and really typical you know beachfront community with little cottages and things like that um, so a lot of character there you got some like unfinished roads and gravel roads and things like that you, you see a lot of that with um, little communities especially that are unincorporated on the Oregon coast but has that aesthetic uh, that is very again typical beachfront living and here in Hasita Beach, again, just really like a maybe ten, five by 10 block area, it's really the only place you can get it in Florence. And a lot of other towns on the Oregon coast have a ton of you know beachfront uh, living, whereas again, in Florence, not so much, but Hasita Beach is gonna be your best bet. So if Florence or Hasita Beach in particular is an area that looks interesting to you, if you wanna talk more about what it's like living here, or maybe talk about communities that are similar to Hasita Beach, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video. Schedule a Zoom call with us and we can talk more about that. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap that little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.